Order, Roger Daltrey, <laughs> John Entwistle, and Pete Townsend. I don't think we were smoking, Richard. It's Richard Harris. Me. <laughs> <laughs> With his clothes. With his clothes yeah. on. With his clothes on. Change. Not for long. <laughs> you two have worked together, Roger and Richard. I have. Yep. Yes. What did you, What did you do? Oh, we did a... We're going to talk about it. Well, if you like. <laughs> oh, you talk. None of the stories, though. No, we did a, a, <laughs> version, a, a version of the Thrupney Opera, a film that was made... When was it? Two years ago. Yeah. And we filmed it in Budapest. So good. we had some good time. In, in hotels, again, we had some good time. <laughs> did you notice something? I, I, it just struck me now. You know, like the 60s. Everybody thought about the 60s as a wild, crazy time when kind of Flash of the Pan guys came and they sort of... You know, it was kind of a mad movement. Look who's existed. You guys, the Rolling Stones, still there. Peace Row 2, still there. <laughs> Albert <laughs> Finney, still there. Richard Harris, still <laughs> there. <laughs> uh, 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 luckily, at the Beatles, luckily some amazing, of them huh? are dead, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's one way I've got out of fashion is to die, but apart from that. <laughs> but you've, you've, you've done all right in the record business, too. What, you've got how many gold discs and a couple of Emmys? Four. Grammys, right? Well, it's kind of, you know, a couple of Grammys, but it's all kind of, you know, I mean, I... 
you know, I mean, I mean, I can't boast about that because it was, I mean, it just shows you what you can do with the electronic sort of wizard. You can make me sound great. <laughs> and believe me, if I sang for you now, you wouldn't rush out and buy an album. <laughs> I might rush out, but... What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Roger and, and John, let me approach you first. Now, it, the, you had the farewell in inverted commas tour of 1982 and then the tour last year. Why was that huge gap? Well, it, the, the farewell was really a farewell to touring. I mean, it wasn't really the band saying goodbye, it was just saying we're not going to tour after that, which we, we didn't. And then uh, the 25th anniversary came up and we decided to celebrate it because we were very proud of our music. And there's no better way of celebrating it than actually getting on stage and playing it. But Who music is very weird because there's not, there's not an awful lot of bands that, you know, like Rolling Stones songs you hear in bars, you hear other bands playing them. There's not many bands that play Who songs. So. We have to get out, out there and do it ourselves. It's catching on now. Isn't it? <laughs> it is catching on. You can't dance to them. But it's, it's, not many, it's not many bands do Camelot either, though, is it? These same who songs. These, these, you did. You did. A, uh, to, we did a version of Tommy with the uh, London Symphony. Oh yeah, we did. did. He played the Doctor. Yeah, got, yeah. I mean, can you imagine this physical wreck playing the Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> But he yeah, wasn't I got, got, got a platinum record. Oh, that's that's right. right. I forgot about no that. No money, but platinum record. You were one of our records. No royalty. But back to the touring. I mean, 82 to, to last year. Yes, yeah, it is a very long time. And were you waiting for, for you all to make your minds up or what? No, waiting for him. Yeah, waiting for Pete to make his mind up. So it was Pete, you, was it? What made you change your mind? Was it the 25th anniversary or what? Yeah, I suppose it was just the fact that, uh, you know, I'd, it was a 25th birthday and it was, you know, I... But I... Uh, yeah, that's it, really, to 25 years and wanting to celebrate in some way. And, and I, th I thought one year set aside to celebrate, it doesn't sound like too much, and uh, to celebrate 25, and that I would either do an album with The Who uh, or, make, or do a tour. And we talked about an album for a while, and then it seemed like an album wouldn't be as much fun as a tour and wouldn't cover as much ground as a tour. And uh, so we did the tour instead. I'm really glad we did it, because it, I, I wasn't sure that I was going to enjoy it, but I really did. It was good. But, John, the money, I suppose, was not ir irrelevant in your decision to go <laughs> back on the road? Not in my decision, <laughs> no. uh, I have a tendency to spend money very quickly. Um, no, I mean, every band goes out for the money. I mean, if they didn't, they'd be crazy. But you were declared millionaires 20 years ago. How have you spent your money in that time? Uh, I don't have to spend it all, but how do you enjoy spending it? You know, I've, uh, put this morbid fear of having money in banks, so I surround myself with possessions. And, uh, I ended up with a lot of possessions and no money. And a morbid fear of possessions. Roger, what's your version? My version, uh, my version of what? Of how uh, to spend money when you got it. Um, behind the bar. Well, I... <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, I, yeah. What have you done with I that? Don't, I mean, I don't go... It's I'm, behind I'm, the I'm bar. not really interested. I mean, I, don't, I never yeah, go yeah. shopping. I just, I'm a very... I live quite simply. I buy fish farms. I'm, I'm interested <laughs> in fish farms. <laughs> Roger, Roger, Roger's uh, wife's here tonight. She'll validate yeah, this story. Uh, I was in the dressing room it. one day taking the, taking the piss out of where Roger puts his money. And I said, I said, just... And Heather was walking into the room and I was saying to somebody, Roger keeps his money behind the bath. And Heather went, Roger, you told them where we put the money. <laughs> 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 what was different this time was the fact you took your families with you. Now, what, what do the teenage kids think of seeing Dad perform on stage? My, my kids were blissfully unaware of what Dad did. Um, and I, they were really shell-shocked. I mean, they didn't... Um, they, they'd never seen us before, so, I mean, it was kind of... They were stunned. And I heard my daughter on the phone to a friend of hers, like, the, the, the next day after the first show they'd seen. She would have seen my dad! I mean, they'd be raving, you know. Yeah. Kind of felt weird, but they, they enjoyed themselves. I mean, they're here tonight. I mean, we can't keep them away from the band now. My son, eight-year-old, plays in the brass section. You were always what, the, just about the loudest group, weren't you? Are you any quieter these days? I said, are you any quieter? <laughs> <laughs> we had to be a bit quieter this time because I, I refused to go out and subject myself to the kind of noise levels that we produced in the past. And uh, we were quite a lot quieter on the stage. Or at least my side of the stage was quieter. Uh, no, that's true. The stage, was, the, the stage was amazing because it was, for me, in the middle. I had John Denver on my left, <laughs> Led Zeppelin on the right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was 